Hi team, Mr. Rator here. These are, we're going to look at uh, indices and sales style questions. Um, I've kind of copied some of these questions so they don't look, um, might be difficult to read them. So I'm going to rewrite it next to it. So basically this is saying it's um, 3x to the power 9 add 3 apes x to the power 9. And this is all to the power minus one third. Okay, let's just first of all, so these are x to the power nine, this is x to the power nine. So we can add these up together. Before we do add it, we need to change this free to a um, fraction which has a uh, denominator of eight. So eight, 16, 24, free is the same as 24 over 8. Okay, so we'll just bear that in mind. 3 is the same as, because 24 shared by 8 is 3, so let's change that first of all. So we've got 24 over 8, x to the power 9, add 3 apes, x to the power 9. And all that, is to the power minus one third. We'll deal with this power afterwards once we've got all this put together. And the first thing to do here is add all the uh, 24 eights, add three eights, and because we can add them together as the x to the power nine is the same, this will be the same as three plus 24 is 27. So we've got 27 over 8, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put x to the power, because this goes on top, x to the power 9 there. Okay, so that is the power minus one third. Now what we do know from indices, when we've got this power, the way to get rid of the minus is by turning this fraction upside down. Okay, the minus means one over. And when I do one over a fraction, the fraction turns upside down. It's like the reciprocal. So it is the reciprocal turning that upside down. So we end up with eight over 27 x to the power nine. Okay, now, what I could actually do is, rather than putting x to the power 9 underneath, I could leave, I'm going to delete that. So, makes a bit more sense when I do this. So, I'm going to put that x over, um, yeah, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up now. So, let's just delete this to make it, make a bit more sense out of it. What I can do is I can call 27 over 8. I'm going to split this up now. So this is to the power of minus one third. And it's times in by x to the power 9 to the power of minus one third. So I've literally just split this up, the fraction and the algebra x term and i'll put them both to the power minus one third now what we should know or what you should know in fractions when this is a minus and the indices is minus what you can do is turn the fraction upside down okay to make that positive because so, it's one over so that becomes eight over 27 and now this is to the positive one third. So literally we got rid of the minus by switching this upside down and making the reciprocal of it. Put a dot there, dot in algebra means times, and this will be x. Now what we can do here is when you got nine and you got minus one third and you got a bracket, we just multiply those. So I'm just gonna put nine times minus one third here. Now, as I go about simplifying this, one third, anything to the power, just put it here, one third, you should know this, is the same as x cube root. 
that means what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cube root the 8. And I can cube root the 27. So that then goes like that when I cube root the 8 and cube root the 20. And that's going to be multiplied by. Now, x to the power 9, so 9 times minus 1 third, it's going to be x. 1 third of 9 is 3 with an entry, so that's going to be minus 3. Okay, so what I'm going to end up here, to simplify this, cube root of 8 is 2, over cube root of 27 is 3, and that's going to be x to the minus 3 to the power minus 3. If you want to rewrite this, you can rewrite this, put it as 2 all over 3x cubed. 6 and 2, 3, whichever else you want. Okay, let's just go and have a look at the next question. Again, can't see this, this is um, x, so this next question we've got square root, we've got 3 um, 3 to the power 2a plus b, and we want it in this form. And it wants to know the values of a and b. Okay, so we know that is express a and b, a, sorry, express a in terms of b. Now, before we start, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the square root. So, first thing first, I'm going to square both sides. So that means that's going to be, that's going to end up being 3, 2a plus b is going to equal 27 to the power a over 3 to the power b. And all this is going to be squared. Okay. So remember when I'm squaring this, I can also split this up and square the top number. That would be 27 to the power a. So that's going to be squared. And 3 to the power b, that's going to be squared. Okay, I can further simplify this because what you do is when you're squaring this, these powers, they multiply, so that becomes 27. Power 2a and at the bottom I get 3 to the power 2b. Okay, now I want to express a in terms of b, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, let's just change that both sides. This is equal to that. I'm going to multiply this denominator at the top. So that gives me 3, 2a plus b times 3, 2b, 3 to the power 2b. If you want, you can put um, brackets around it. It's no need at the moment, we're just times in those, the base is the same. And that's going to equal 27 to the power 2a. So what you should also start noticing is all these, these two are in the past, the base of 3. And 27 at the moment is not in the base of 3, but if we want 27 to become the base of 3, you should recognize that if I've got 3 cubed, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. Okay, so bear that in mind. So we can replace 27 with 3 cubed. And if we do that, we'll end up with 3 cubed. So 3 cubed is 27, and that's going to be to the power of 2a. 
once we got that, we can just literally times these powers, which we will do in a second. So before we do that, let's go back to here. So this is the thinking behind what I'm going to do next. Okay, so first of all, the base is the same. Then we add the powers. So you end up with 3, 2a, plus b, and because we times in, we can add this power to b. And we can do this because the base is the same. Okay, so we can just add all the powers, indices, rules. And what I mentioned earlier here, I'm going to replace the 27 with 3 cubed. So that's the same as 27, which then is going to be multiplied by 2a for the answer. So what we should do straight away is simplify the powers. So what we got is 3. We have um, 2a plus uh, b plus 2b is 3b. And that's going to equal, now the base stays the same. The powers are multiplied, that becomes 6a. Now, if the base is the same and this is equal, the powers must be the same. Okay, so this implies that the powers are the same. So that implies that 2a plus 3b is going to equal 6a. Okay, so we want to express a in terms of b, so what I'm going to do is take take the 2a to the other side by minus 2a. That tells me that 3b is equal to 6 take away 2 is 4a. Okay, and then I'm going to take that 4 to the other side. So I can rewrite this and say 4a is equal to 3b. If I want to express a in terms of b, a is the same. Let's take the 4 to the other side by dividing it, so that gives me 3 over 4b. That is my final answer, a in terms of b. Okay, let's try the next difference question. Okay, again, looks a bit difficult to see, but I'm going to write this out again. And what it says, put it in the form of this. And uh, so where A, B, C, and N are to be found. So as I'm writing this out again, I'll emphasize what these are. They look difficult to see. So what we've got is, first of all, we got 3x. So that is power 3 quarters minus x to the power minus 3 quarters okay and that's being squared so it's going to be times by itself so if we write it down again we've got 3 x to the power 3 quarters minus x to the power minus three quarters. Okay, so let's just expand this out. So let me just put blue there so we know. So first of all, we got these two numbers times together. So we're gonna get three times three is nine. Now, when we times in the powers, um, the base is the same, we must add the powers. So that's 3 quarters, that's 3 quarters is 6 quarters. 6 quarters, let's write it here, if you got 6 quarters is the same as 3 over 2. So I've got x, 3 over 2. Okay, and I've got this multiplied by here. So minus positive, so that becomes a minus 3. 
and when I add the powers, and remember that 3 quarters add minus 3 quarters becomes x power 0. I'll deal with that in a second. Likewise, when I multiply these two, positive and negative makes it negative. And then if we do, we've got the 3 there. And minus 3 quarters add 3 quarters will give me x to the power 0. And the last one to do is two negatives become a positive. And minus three plus minus three is minus um, six quarters. And that's going to be x to the power of minus three over two. Okay. Now, remember... As we've done before, we know these indices rules. Anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so what we got here, we're going to end up with minus 3, minus 3, and that's going to give me minus 6. I'll put that at the end. So what we got here, we got 9 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 2. We got add uh, x. The minus 3 over 2. We've got minus 3, minus 3, that gives me minus 6. Okay, but we want it in this form. So what we can do is we can now um, put that in a positive form. So we've got 9. This is x to the power 3 over 2. Now, when this is a minus, what we can do is, when this is a minus, we mean that we can make this power positive by making it go, put it over one. So it means it's a reciprocal. So the power x comes um, three over two. So this minus three halves becomes positive three halves when it's one over, and that's the minus six. Okay, so straight away, you can see from here, this shows clearly that A is equal to 9, B is equal to a positive 1, C is equal to minus 6, and N is equal to Two half, three halves, okay, three or two. And that's how straightforward it is when you just have a look. Just give that a try now, be careful. Don't want to get. Okay, let's have a look at a few more indices time questions. 